Hello, my name is Terry Vaboyge, and I'm the president of Perry Johnson Registrars. And this is John Laffey. I'm the information security technical manager at Perry Johnson Registrars. And today we're going to talk a little bit about information security and a standard called ISO 27001. And uh, for the sake of this audience, John, tell us a little bit what is ISO 27001? ISO 27001 is a standard that basically specifies a framework for an information security management system. So what that means is it's not specific controls or software or firewalls that it requires you to use, but rather it's a higher level set of procedures that outlines how you're going to address information security as a whole, how you're going to assess your risks, how you're going to review them, um, you have to define how much risk you're willing to accept as an organization, uh, and then it requires that any risk that falls outside that level be controlled and mitigated till it's at an acceptable level for you. And then what we do is send people like yourself out um, as, as auditors to, uh, to go through the process mm -hmm. and ensure that there's compliance to the standard, right? Absolutely, yep. What we do is, uh, depending on the, the size of the company and the complexity of their information systems, so computer systems, networks, various things, um, we'll dictate how long we're there, but we're gonna take a, a look at all their procedures. We're gonna interview top management personnel as well as employees from all different parts of the company that are in the scope of their system and just get a good feel for if A, they're adhering to the you know requirements of the standard as well as any procedures that they've written in and, and however they've decided to address and, and mitigate those risks to their okay. information security. The world is changing. Just think about all the, all the industries that, that need to worry about their sensitive data. And, and things that come to mind are obviously the financial industry, the banking industry dealing with sensitive data. You talk about the U.S. government having sensitive data. Even manufacturing companies today are dealing with sensitive data. Yeah. But more importantly here, we're here to talk a little bit about the healthcare industry sure. and the importance in the healthcare industry. So uh, with that, uh, what kind of information security risks are, are companies in the healthcare really faced with today? So I think the one that everyone's going to be familiar with and the one that jumps out is going to be HIPAA. Uh, okay. That's the Health and Information Portability and Accountability Act. Okay. And um, basically it deals with any company that deals with um, personally identifiable information regarding, you know, social security numbers, names, addresses, health records. Um, it stipulates how they have to gather that data, store that data, transmit that data, and even when individuals are, you know, working with that data, uh, what kind of safeguards need to be in place to ensure that it's not getting into the wrong hands, it's not going to be destroyed or lost, and it's not um, going to be unavailable. So those are the three elements of information security. It's called the CIA triad. Okay. It's confidentiality. Okay. It's availability and it's integrity. Okay. Well, let's talk about HIPAA. Okay. Right. So. Uh, what kinds of impact uh, does not adhering to, imp to HIPAA really, really have? So since 2003, when it formally became a law, um, and this is as of October 31st, 2015, so it's going to be even higher now, but over $22 million had been uh, levied in fines and civil penalties by the enforcement office. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So financially, there's obviously a huge risk. Sure, sure. Uh, but on top of that, there's also a lot of damage that can be done to a company's reputation. Um, you know, there's news reports, seems like every day of a new security breach, millions of records, you know, are out in the open now, sure. social security numbers, all that kind of information. Um, that's not going to engender a real positive feeling towards an organization by the public at large. As you have a choice of where you can go for your healthcare needs, you might avoid that company. Oh, that, sure. That, Absolutely. that just had that happen. So, so how does ISO 27001 uh, really help with HIPAA compliance? So ISO 27001, a big component is that it requires you to identify, number one, just baseline, you have to identify all the things you are accountable for is, is you know, regulatory, legal wise, because um, you don't know what you don't know and it's going to be hard to, to be compliant. Um, but past that, it also makes sure that you have controls in place to remain compliant with any of these things. Um, so. Without getting too deep into it, basically you're going to have to go through and say, all right, what do we need to do as a company to make sure we don't violate, we don't get fined, and we don't lose this information? Um, and then you have to go ahead and, and put that into place. Okay.
Now, tell me a little bit about other benefits that being ISO 27001 uh, brings to the healthcare industry. Sure. So, with any company, there's obviously going to be a, a business case that can be made because sure. uh, it's it's a large endeavor. It's, it's going to be some resources and time that go into it, but uh, to be able to advertise, you know, to your potential clients that you're certified by a third party to the only internationally recognized standard in information security. That's good. Uh, you know, that's going to open a lot of new doors. It, it's becoming more and more common now for um, a lot of companies won't even let people bid on contracts to do work if right. they're not certified. Um, so that's one aspect. But then I think practically, when it's implemented, it fosters an organizational-wide awareness and you know vigilance towards information security. Sure. It's not just in the IT department. You know, everybody's aware of it because everybody is most likely looking at information that is sensitive and, sure. and, and needs to be protected. So the cost of a breach is massive. It's it's a massive hit to the organization's image, uh, and it can affect an organization long term. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Absolutely. Well, listen. Thanks so much, John. We appreciate your time today. Hopefully, we've uh, we've uh, educated uh, the audience a little bit about ISO 27001. Uh, if there's any other questions that anybody has. Uh, John is an expert, and you can contact Perry Johnson Registrars. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.